Hey everyone, Carl here with Trial by Studios. Well, September's coming to an end, and so is Carnotaurus Month. But don't worry yet, gentle viewer. We've found another version of everyone's favorite meat-eating bull to examine for Carnotaurus Month, the very odd version of Carnotaurus featured in Terra Nova. Now before we begin, let me remind you that if you enjoy the content, then subscribe to the channel, and follow us over on Twitter to stay up to date with everything Trial Bite Studios. Alright, let's begin. Now personally, I haven't seen the show, and therefore know almost nothing about its story. However, that doesn't mean I can't examine some of the species in it. Carnotaurus is one of the first prehistoric animals seen in the show. And oh boy, it's rough to look at. It looks like a leftover Jurassic Fight Club model that the writers managed to get their hands on. That being said, this version of Carnotaurus is extremely interesting. Out of all the Carnotauruses... Carnotauri... Carnotaur... People... Carno... Out of all the Carnotaurus we've looked at this month, the Terra Nova version seems to have the most differences between individuals. Let's start with the size of this Carnotaurus. Using the Hummer seen in the show, we can roughly estimate this version of Carnotaurus to be around 12 feet tall and 25 to 30 feet in length, which honestly isn't too far off its real-world counterpart, measuring only a few feet taller and longer. One of the most recognizable of the differences are the horns. Each individual seen in the show has different horns. This is most likely due to sexual dimorphism. Our theory is that the males have larger horns for display, while the females have smaller horns. Now please do be aware that this is just our theory, since the show never actually discloses the details or reason for the horn size, or well, at least we couldn't find it on the wiki. Another major difference between the Terra Nova Carnotaurus and all the other versions of Carnotaurus that we've examined is that the Terra Nova version has feathers on its forelimbs. It is believed as of the making of this video, that Carnotaurus was one of the only members in the theropod clade to not possess feathers. Furthermore, Terra Nova's Carnotaurus has almost raptor-like forelimbs. As mentioned in our real-world Carnotaurus profile video, Carnotaurus has one of the smallest arm-to-body ratios in all of Dinosauria. In Terra Nova's Carnotaurus, the forelimbs are much too long, face forward, and have pronated hands. Last, I'd like to cover the environment that these animals are supposed to be living in. Unlike the real-world Carnotaurus, which is known to have lived in an open coastal environment, Terra Nova's Carnotaurus are shown living in both a tropical rainforest and a temperate forest. The real-world Carnotaurus was a pursuit predator and needed an open area to use its speed to chase down prey. This leads me to believe that the Terra Nova Carnotaurus was probably an ambush predator, using its camouflage to blend in with its environment, then strike at the perfect moment. Alright, that wraps up another Carnotaurus, draws us ever closer to the end of Carnotaurus Month, where we'll wrap up the last of the species profiles and finally conclude our chapter on the meat-eating bull known as Carnotaurus.